In the 10th chapter of St. Luke's Gospel, our Lord tells us the most loved short story in the world, the story of the Good Samaritan. And it came in answer to a lawyer's question, who asked our Lord, who is my neighbor? And instead of giving him a treatise on neighborly relations or some essay on sociology, he told him a story of 150 words about a man who was left for dead on the side of the road. Two people passed by and ignored him, and one helped him. We can identify with the story very easily because we see ourselves in the story. Sometimes we are the one who is hurt, sometimes we are the one who goes by, and sometimes, hopefully, we are the one who helps. The story is also famous because it contains the three great philosophies of life by which we live. You say, but I don't have a philosophy of life. We all do, consciously or unconsciously. The first philosophy is the philosophy of the robbers, which says, what is yours is mine and I shall take it. This is the philosophy of bank robbers and petty thieves all over the world. In a more sophisticated way, it is the philosophy of the employer who defrauds his workers of an honest wage. He thinks their work belongs to him. And then it is the philosophy of the workers who take home a salary for eight hours solid work when they've put in only seven hours of shoddy work. You see, because we are sinners, the greed and the selfishness is in all of us, and we want to grasp. We have to be so careful. And then there is the philosophy of the priest and the Levite, which says, what is mine is mine, and I shall keep it. It is hard to blame them. They didn't cause the man any injury. They were innocent bystanders. Maybe they had a bus to catch. Maybe they had an appointment with the doctor, and time is precious. So we make allowances for them as we make allowances for ourselves. But my dear friends, we forget Nothing is ours. Everything we have, we have received. Everything to the next minute, the next breath we draw, all gifts of God. Sadly, we become so enamored with his gifts. We do not possess them, they possess us, and we become slave to the gifts of our God because we are blinded by the sinfulness within us. And then there is the philosophy of the Samaritan. It is interesting, our Lord does not call him good, neither does St. Luke. He's called the good Samaritan by the world, because his is the philosophy that should be ours. What is mine is yours, and I shall share it. This is what our Lord taught us, to give our cloak as well as our coat, to go the extra mile, to forgive not seven times, but seventy times seven times, not to refuse him who wants to borrow from us. This is the Christian philosophy by which you and I must strive to live. I know it is not easy. I know we have to begin again each day. I know the struggle is real, but we are not alone in the battle. The Lord himself who gave the philosophy is within us to enable us to achieve success. And our Lord is not talking only about monetary problems. We may not have much to give, but we have a kind word, a smile, a listening ear, we can make a phone call, we can visit a sick neighbor, we can go to the hospital, 
we can write a letter? What do we do with the love that God pours forth into your heart and mine? The love that is in us now, in every one of us, is his child. By definition, you cannot keep love. Love must be given away. You cannot buy love. You cannot barter it. You cannot sell it. You cannot store it. You can only give it away. A song is not a song until it is sung. A bell is not a bell until it is rung. And love is not love until it is given away to you. I have our Lord's own love, and he's depending on me to give it back to those around me. Because while you and I are alive, he is alive. And surely the prayer of St. Francis is our prayer. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is darkness, let me bring your light. Where there is despair, let me bring your hope. Where there is anger and hatred and confusion and turmoil, let me bring your love. Let me be your child, truly. Amen. God bless you.